Hey students and parents, this week for math, we're going to be talking about the properties of rectangles. And for this video, doubling and quadrupling the size of a rectangle. In the classroom, when we talk about these, we use some manipulative blocks like these. You may or may not have these at home. One thing you can use at home is just cutting up some pieces of paper, cutting them up into squares and rectangles. Let's go over some examples. First, we're going to start with this rectangle right here. I'm going to take this and we're going to double it. So if I double this rectangle, that means I'm going to have two of them. If I put them side by side to double them, I'll get a rectangle like this. Here's another example of doubling the size of a rectangle. We'll start with this one. If we put two together, we get a rectangle that's double in size. Next, I have another rectangle, this one right here. We're going to take this one and quadruple it. That means I need four. If I take four of these rectangles, put them together, I get a quadruple size rectangle. Here's one more. We're going to take this rectangle and quadruple it. So again, I need four. If I take four of these, put them together, now I get my bigger rectangle. It's four times as big. So when it comes to doubling and quadrupling the size of rectangles, using manipulatives is ideal for this activity. But again, if you don't have those at home, just cutting up pieces of paper into the shape of rectangles, putting them together can be a good demonstration to the student of this. I'll be posting these slides as well as some other math activities to demonstrate this standard. If you want more information, I'll post that as well. If you'd like to Zoom with me, just click on the link in Schoology.